a Monaco roller coaster right from the start until the final kick of the Ligue 1 Uber Eats season. Opening their accounts with the league season's first goal on match day one. And they would be involved when the last goal of the campaign was scored deep into stoppage time. A dramatic conclusion to a topsy turvy nine months brought equal measures of disappointment, but also a sense of pride at what had been achieved. After the summer, Nubel, Jean Lucas, San Buadou, new faces joining to bolster the squad that retained stars like Ben Yedder, Folland, and Chua Many, who had helped return the 2017 champions to the podium at the end of the previous campaign. That was the minimum requirement for boss Nico Kovac's side, and they certainly weren't hanging around at home to Nantes. Just 14 minutes into the new season, Jelson Martins netting the first goal anywhere in the league yet ultimately points dropped in a one-all draw. Monaco struggled to balance domestic and early continental commitments. A four-match winless streak saw Kovac's men in the bottom two after three match days and the Champions League dream over in the final qualifying playoff against Shakhtar. The Europa League lay in wait as Monaco tried to get their Liga and Uber Eats campaign back on track. That proved easier said than done. Marseille had a secret weapon in the form of Bamba Diang as his double sent Monaco to a third defeat in their opening five league assignments. The season started early, but Le Monegasque were yet to get their engine up and running. By the time they hosted third place of N on the final match day before Christmas, the near future looked bright. Just three defeats in 22 matches since losing to Marseille, and Monaco just four points off the podium, with ASM safely into the Europa League knockout phase. Despite that, Niko Kovic receives call for Noel, as Croatian was sacked with Philip Clermont swapping Club Rouge for the Principality. The Belgian coach also started his campaign with a Nantes draw, yet four wins in five followed, including a first in France, the thumping of Clermont. That optimism quickly faded. One win in seven saw Monaco nine points from the podium, and they were out of the Coupe de France and Europa League in a matter of weeks. The knife rumoured to be out, yet a stunning reversal of fortunes would end. Any talk of that? It looked like a mismatch on paper, especially with the world's most expensive attacking duo leading the charge. Yet while everything went wrong for PSG, everything seemed to finally click in place for ASM. It all started with the majestic flash of Wissa Ben Yedder's boot. And the captain then instigated the second. Ruben Aguilar finding Kevin Fallen to bundle in past Gigi Donnarumma. Ben Yedder the star man as he battled with Mbappe at the top of the scoring charts. But they had to back that win up. Captain Fantastic led the way to kickstart April. Yet Mess leveled just past the hour mark, only for Monaco to find a winner through at that point, an unreliable source. Myron Baudu stooping for just a second league goal, Monaco's first league successive wins since early December. Normally the creator with eight assists for the season, Carl Henrik turn taker, and how? Just as Mess had to peg Monaco back, only for them to rediscover an ability to grind out results. Following the match winner here, all of a sudden three wins have propelled Monaco to within three points of podium dwellers Rennes, who are up next in their sights. A first major test of Monaco's push for the Champions League away at high-flying Rennes. No surprise the Bretons led early doors as Slavien Te scored Le Rouge et Noir's 70th league goal. But despite being behind after three minutes, ASM came roaring back. Anderson proving a shrewd January acquisition, the Brazilian levelling the match on 12 minutes. Bruno Genesio sided won six and drawn once coming into the game, yet Ben Yedder sent them towards a first defeat in two months. 
and Vanderson ended with a goal and an assist as Myron Puadu scored in successive away assignments to earn all three points. Clermont and Cartier showing respect ahead of the Côte d'Azur derby. The Belgian proved this run was no flash in the pan as Monaco beat Nice thanks to a rare appearance and strike from Alexander Gullivan in first half stoppage time. Le Monegas holding on for a fourth successive win by a single goal to make it five in a row overall. Clermont and his staff embraced. The fans is delighted with the club only outside the top three of goal difference. Having enjoyed a run of narrow wins, Monaco found their mark as relegation threatened Saint-Étienne welcomed them to Le Chaudron. But the visitors were the only team cooking with gas. Yederlin scoring in two first half minutes en route to an emphatic 4-1 win. The Monaco hierarchy had been rumoured to be bringing wholesale changes before the PSG win turned on this winning machine that kept churning out results. The Principality swarming forward after leading through Abdoulaye Bamba's own goal. It was Ben Yedder who finished the devastating counter with goal 21 of the campaign, yet still three shy of Mbappé. It had been neck and neck with Rennes, but the Bretons blinked first as Monaco won at the home of dethroned Liga Nouveau champions Lille. Aurelien Chouameni, the star man, evidence of exactly why he's in Didier Deschamps' France squad, one of the most sought after players in Europe. A simply sensational strike as Monaco climbed onto the podium, an eighth consecutive win as Chouameni's double had the Champions League in their sights. And yet the run looked like it might be coming to an end. Youssef Bellali gave Bresse a 2-0 lead at the Stade Louis Du, having got themselves into a position to finish on the podium or even second behind Paris. They made sure they didn't miss their chance. Benyeda leveled from the spot before a devastating second half display. The captain wiped out the Pirates' advantage with a cool finish. The 31-year-old international wouldn't be able to catch PSG's Mbappe in the scoring charts, but continued to set his best ever league season tally. Goal 24, Ben Yedder scoring his first hat-trick of the campaign. A ninth win in a row confirmed by Folland, the best winning sequence in Ligue 1 Uber Eats this campaign. Clermont with the best win percentage of any Monaco manager, although a small body of work to judge, hugely impressive and going into the final match day second in the division. Win at Lons and a Champions League group stage berth would be confirmed by a goal avalanche in Marseille. Having gone one behind, Monaco hit back to level through Benoit Badiachil and the ASM fans could almost hear the Champions League anthem. Ben Yedder's 25th goal, three behind Golden Boot winner Mbappe, appeared to see them skip the qualifying rounds that tripped them up at the season's start. From eighth and nine points off the podium in week 28 to second in the table with seconds left of the season. A stunning achievement. Only two other sides had won 10 straight to end the campaign, but just before they could celebrate, Ron struck. Frank Edz enjoyed the moment despite his team missing out on European qualification. A sole mistake by Ignacio Ganago punished them severely. Heartbreak of facing the Champions League qualifying rounds again, but a 29th Liga Nubri's podium finish, a league record achieved when no one thought it was possible. A painful end, but a bright new beginning appears to have started.